but yeah, um, I'm also the type of dude, like, this is what a, like, fucking weirdo I am. I don't know if anyone is, like, on the note of coffee. I'm the type of dude that, when I become a regular, like, a regular customer somewhere, I don't develop relationships with people. Like, you know, I've seen people do this, like, normal people, like, they'll become a regular at fucking... I, I, cause I've worked in restaurants and we used to have regulars, you know, we'd always say hi to them. I mean, I wouldn't cause I'm weird and I don't talk to people, but you know, when you see regulars, they develop a relationship with like the whole staff. Usually like, you know, you know, their orders, like, oh, you they might get a couple free packets of sugar or whatever the fuck the place sells. Oh, 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 oh. Late response on that. Good spike, dude. But me, I'm the kind of guy... Like, and you know you, like, you go in the place and, and you're, you're talking, you're friendly, you know everyone by their first name and shit, you know, like, how their kids are doing and, like... You just, you got a relative, like, you're friends, basically, at that point. Me, I'm the kind of guy who becomes the regular in a, a fucking establishment, and they know my order, but they don't know me, like, by name or anything. I don't know any of them. So, I would go into this Dunkin' Donuts all the time, when I used to, um, take the bus to work all the time. I'd always walk in there, and be around the same time, and the same crew was always working. And same manager, all that. And I always order the same thing, large black coffee. Always, same shit. And I'm a pretty recognizable dude. I'm a dude with tattoos and gray hair. And eventually it got to a point, because like I, don't, I would go in there all the time, but I wouldn't talk to anybody. I would just look angry, because that's what I do. I just go, like I literally just say like, uh, they have large black coffee. And I, my eyes are always popping out of my head, not intentionally. I just look like a fucking psychopath. It's not my fault, I promise you. I just look like I want to murder everybody in my fucking sight. So, be the way, I, I became known. Because at some point, how do you get caught by that? So at some point I um I went in there and the one girl at the register who usually would like service me she saw me standing in the line and I could see her getting with just like pouring just the regular coffee into a large cup and not putting anything in it and I was like is she getting my order ready? Does she know? Like is this I'm like she I see her all the time. She services me, sure. And uh, sure enough, I came up and she was already like ringing it up into the register. And then when I came up, I was like, she's just like, yeah, two, whatever, wow, two bucks and whatever it was. And I'm like, uh, all right, thank you. And then I didn't take the initiative to be like, oh, by the way, my name is Justin and, you know, I love the coffee here. I didn't do anything because like, I'm weird. I don't know how to interact with other human beings. I'm a fucking alien. So I'm like, okay. And I just, I left. And I was like, all right, I guess this is the relationship we have now where they know me. I know them, but we like don't know each other. So I guess now it's just fucking awkward because I know that they know me and I know they're probably talking about me because you talk when you work in an establishment and you see regular customers, you talk about them You're like, oh, here's Billy to fucking get his rack of ribs or um, a better example. When I worked at this barbecue place, everyone would be like, oh, here comes fucking Dan, the, the rib maniac to get a fucking whole slab of ribs for himself because I had a friend named, I have a friend named Dan, and he fucking, 
what, I, I don't know. Does he eat ribs? I don't even know what my friends do. Fuck that guy. But that's the type of, like, my buddy Dan, he would come in to the place and everyone would know him. And not just because of me. Like, he would be there on my days off and everyone would be like, oh, it's Dan. Here he comes with the jokes. And he'd be all, like, cool and they'd be cool with him. But me, I would go into Dunkin' Donuts every single goddamn day. And, I mean, it's just unspoken. And even when it would be busy, like, I'd go in there. And I remember, again, like, I'd be in line. And there's just a whole bunch of people in there. And I remember the manager being like, oh, and uh, that gentleman right there is a uh, large black coffee. Just get that ready. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, I'm just sitting there by myself like this. And they have it all ready for me and everything, and I, I pay for it, but I don't I don't talk. I'm not like, oh, okay, Susie, thanks. I love that you got the coffee ready for me. No, it's, it's nothing. I'm so fucking... I wish I could be that guy, but I can't. I, I don't have the capability. And I'm like, I'm super appreciative. And I'm sure, like, if I did make friends with them, they're one of these days they'd just be like, oh, here you go, Justin. Like, you're a cool guy. But I'm that's the thing. Like, I'm not a cool guy. I'm just a regular customer. I'm, I, so I'm a regular customer without the benefits of being a regular customer. And all of the relationships I have with all of the workers are just weird. And then if I go through the drive-thru, I feel even stranger. Because, again, it's it's me. And they see it's me. They all see me through the drive-thru. But there's no spoken words. Like, we... It, I don't... I don't know. It's, just, it's not an understanding that we have. Sometimes I, I wish I could be that dude. But I'm not. Ah, oh, I didn't kill him. That did. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm bad at being a regular customer. Even like, and that's the thing. Like, as much as I love coffee, I'm bad at being a regular customer at places that serve coffee. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to introduce myself. You get the impression this guy just likes playing Joker because of Arsene. Fuck out of here, dude. You just want to play Arsene and do fucking counters. Like that. I knew that was coming. I jumped right into that. Yeah, because other people have counters too. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird because I'm better at it like with my career. Because I, I have to, like tattooing, I have to be good with talking to people. And I'm good with regular clients there. Uh, but I don't always remember people's names. I, I really don't. And... On the reverse of that, like, I'm the kind of guy, like, people will come in, and they'll be like, oh, what's up, man? And I'm like, hey, what's up? And they're like, hey, man, you remember me? And I'm, I'm like, no. Like, I'll, I'll act. Like, if you if you say what's up to me all excited and everything, I'm like, oh, yeah, what's, what's going on? Like, what's, what's up? And they're like, oh, well, you... You don't remember me? I was like, nah, bruh. I don't. I'm sorry. Hey. You're just making me mad. See, at the end of the day, I, I don't know. I'm just a grumpy old man. I like coffee. And I don't know how to interact with other, like, human beings. I don't know, what else can I fucking say? And I'll see if I can end this 
I've been recording for a little bit, so let's see if I can end this session with a, a decent win. This uh, Mega Man keeps doing the same shit. It goes so much more smoothly when I fucking concentrate. God damn. <laughs> Talking and playing is so difficult. <laughs> 